Alrighty, good morning guys. We have a very early double dab. So let's get that in there real quick. Awesome. Uh, so I apologize for the late start today. Um, I had an errand to run and it cut too close to starting time, unfortunately. Um, but I made it as quickly as I could. So here we go. Uh, the Lion of Comer, welcome to the stream. I do not. I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest. <laughs> uh, well played, well played. Love the puns. Love the puns, thank you. An errand to run at 7 in the morning... Uh, yes, actually. Yeah, I, uh, I had to run my daughter out to uh, pick something up real quick. Uh, so it was either, you know, cut the stream in half to run this errand or do it this early in the morning. Uh, I chose not to cut the stream in half. Um, has TTV in username? You found out from a speedrunner that in XCOM EW, you can get super so soldiers by renaming. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, I think. Um, yeah, it's like various people that have like helped make the game and stuff. Yeah, it's all good, man. Yeah, yeah, that was something I, I learned about it years ago, but... Um, man, I can't remember how soon after they came out that I learned about it. Wasn't one of them like Sid Meier's or something like that? Um, alright, so we're heading to this terror site. Bunch of savages. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I don't even remember... Like, how good they get. Don't they just gain a few levels or something? Or do they get, like, special stats as well? <laughs> nice, Lord Firestorm. I try not to get out that early, but I'm an early bird. I get up so early, it's ridiculous. Anymore... I can't even sleep in on weekends. Like, like last weekend, like every day I was up by four or five in the morning. It's not fun. Alizon, what's going on? How are you doing today? Yeah, yeah, it would change with a child. Oh, there you go. So that ought to be a, a fun experience. Uh, we have Footman Corpse ready. And we're done. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and research this guy. Oh, Heavy Footman Belongings sorting. Uh, so we do have one of those guys. Uh, probably won't take too long. Uh, and then we have a couple of buggling shell dissections. Oh! Okay, here we go. Whole bunch of supplies. <clears throat> uh, it's all good. It's all good, man. Those newer XCOMs... ...are so RNG dependent. Yeah, it's one of the things I kind of didn't like about those ones, uh, as opposed to these ones. In these ones, you can miss a shot, but you have like more shots to take, for the most part. 
Uh, so like if you miss on these games, chances are you have backup shots to uh, take care of your issue. Uh, in those ones, you miss and you're probably in trouble. I mean, you might have backup shots, but uh, maybe not. There's someone over here. We're gonna scoot back a little. Oh. No, we don't wanna. We don't wanna go there. So we're just gonna scoot everyone up. Uh, we turned off our personal lights. Unfortunately, this guy emits light. <clears throat> and that's it. Yeah, so, like, the newer XCOMs do have, like, their good side and stuff. Oh. <laughs> okay. Coming straight for us. Uh, but it's just way too RNG dependent. Um, you know, I... I strive to use full cover and uh, it just uh, it doesn't seem to help yeah okay universe antimatter what's going on man oh how's the health doing uh, I'm feeling better. Uh, last weekend, I kind of felt kind of sick. Um, throat was rough, and then nostrils and sinuses kind of started getting clogged and runny. Uh, but now I pretty much feel fine, so I think I'm doing pretty well. X Chronicles is going pretty well so far. Uh, we just started, and this is the first mission of the stream, so I hope it goes well. It looks like it probably should go well, considering who we're fighting. Yeah, I liked Chimera Squad. I thought it was really good, especially the music. Awesome. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, you're on an autumn vacation? Very nice. That's the guy with the bow and arrow. Ah, uh, see, snapshot 12. But we could do an aim shot. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we did a playthrough of the Bureau. Uh, that was back, like, before I was streaming time-ish instead of YouTube videos uh, and that was a rough time <laughs> that was a rough time for me but I'd say uh, I enjoyed that playthrough Definitely a challenging game. <clears throat> um, we could shoot these guys. Try to take down their shield a little bit. 16 for an auto shot. We're good there. 
Go Lawman. Missed the last few shots, but... Um, three out of five's not bad. For XCOM. <laughs> and see, that's the other cool thing about these old XCOM games. Um, you got to keep up with your math. You have to be able to do math. I mean, unless you just don't care. Which is fine. <clears throat> but, you know, you got to you got to keep in mind what like what everything costs. You know, keep in mind like in, in with Open XCOM, you can have these arrows pointing to like it for it to show you like how you're going to face where you're where you're gonna go so you have to keep in mind you know like you know if you're if you're gonna end here you're gonna be facing this way so you have to keep in mind well you know I, I need one more time unit to shoot at this guy than what it normally cost you know stuff like that I don't for me it's kind of nice actually like, like it's something I enjoy Math? What is that? <laughs> Technically, it's an educational game. Yes. This is an educational stream. I should start putting that in the, uh, the, the category for, for the stream. See if it's, uh, <laughs> see if it's something I could put in there. Wait, XCOM UFO Defense? There's, there's an educational streamer in there? Professor Quickmind. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> That's cool. Well, good thing we have armor. Uh, but, oh, it was that guy. Okay. It was that guy. Lawman, see if you can take this guy out for me. Okay, try it again. There we go. And you would have had another hit if that one didn't take him out. Very nice. Eighteen. I'm going to forego the extra snapshot for a more accurate auto shot. Uh, that's probably worth it. Mavis taught you to type fast? Nice. Okay. Can't exactly try to blow that guy up. Um, was that at five, right? Blast radius five. Okay. 
I don't think that's accurate. Huh. I want to test that out. I think where I threw it. So let's go there. Or not. <laughs> if it's if it's one, it goes here, right? And if it's blast radius zero, it has to go here. That should work. Nope. Huh. That's really strange. Last radius... Hold on. Am I missing something? Last radius 5. Uh, I don't... doesn't seem to be a change in blast radius calculation. Well, here, you know what, here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, Carmen San Diego. That was good stuff. Nice shot. So you took damage, you took damage. That's it. And then the smoke also only shows up one tile away. So it looks like we may not be able to trust certain stats. Which is not a good thing. Oh, civilian standing right in his way? Well done.
shields down. There we go. <clears throat> what do you have? You have a claw blade. See that guy? Can you kneel? No, crap. All right, aim shot anyway. Wait, that hit him? That's a blast radius of four, <laughs> and radius effectiveness five percent. That hit way over here. What is this game doing? Uh, looks like the tree's in the way. There we go. I don't think we can kneel, because kneeling seems to not like this stuff down here. <clears throat> the lawman can see him from there. With 81% accuracy, I'll take it. See, oof. Okay, only one snapshot now. All right. Uh, let's see. You can see him as well. <laughs> Close enough, right? That's how it works. Oh, that's straight cost. Okay. All right. Where's Afterlight? Hive Mine, how's it going? Uh, that was yesterday. So, uh, the VOD is up, if you would like to watch that. Otherwise, I'll have it up on YouTube in... Hopefully within the week. Yes, Saturdays only. Sundays is, uh, UFO Defense Mods. Now, sometimes if I only stream on Sundays for the weekend, I'll switch the games up. Uh, that way, you know, UFO, or Afterlight's not always removed. Lots of reaction fire. That guys. Uh, 
Uh, can you see them? No. Probably don't have an angle on it. Oh, that didn't hit? Uh, nice. Good toss. Kill them all! Heck yeah. That's what we're going for. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, you don't see them because these are in the way. There we go, direct hit. Surprised it let me do it. Oh, let's see. No line of sight penalty exists, so shooting with a bow and arrow is not the best idea. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Do a reaction shot. Maybe. Guys, reaction fire maybe? Ooh, nice shot. There we go. There we go, we'll, we'll scare him a little bit. How about that? Oh, hello, sir. Nice toss. Oh. It's like, wow, that didn't kill him? Huh. Okay, so he just moved right there. Oh, that guy moved real close. And the civilian got up right behind him. I'm playing with this guy. Okay. <laughs> French fries was showing them how to do things.
Okay. Good damage. Nice. Civilian, watch out. <laughs> I said, watch out. The rear armor is just as good as the front, although we won't be able to close combat. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Okay, let's try this again. Did we miss? And we hit. I think we did zero damage to the shield, too. It's going to be interesting. Okay. Another zero to the shield. Gosh. Okay. Another zero? Wow. Alright, there we go. That's something. Doors in the way. Man, oh man. All right, we killed the guy on the ground. <laughs> didn't didn't mean to do that. So close. If we get this up and over.
Alright, apparently that knocked him out. We somehow ended up with a positive score, so that's cool. Uh, decent accuracy, no throwing accuracy, though. Hmm. Sotar has three now. So let me update my sheet real quick. Save in. All right, we got a kite and plate. <clears throat> All right, footmen. They have five armor on the front, left, and right. Their rear and under armors are three. They're slightly weak against fire. Uh, is that Garagos? Yes, this is X Chronicles. Welcome to the stream. Uh, slightly resistant to cutting. Uh, smoke damage is normal. And they're pretty resistant to light. The soldier of a feudal squad recruited from peasants. It is trained in hand-to-hand -hand fight and archery and supplied with a leather armor slightly weaker than Kevlar vest and a standard protective amulet. The shield of wind which gives them 30 shield. Oh and we also learned broad axe from him. Uh, five cutting damage 70% melee accuracy, uh, a straight 15 time unit cost. A heavy blade on a short handle allows to put remarkable force in blow. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Damage bonus 75% strength. So even with low strength, uh, you would add a lot of damage with this weapon. Yeah. The only bad thing is it's uh, very inaccurate. Buy me pop. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <clears throat> go ahead and research them real quick. Chitin armor. Here we go. Front and rear armor are 12, and left, right, and under are 10, which is double what our current uh, combat armor has, I believe. Combat vest. Uh, 80% kinetic resistance, or, oh, 20%, actually. Uh, a little bit of explosive, stun... Uh, you're less resistant to. Smoke's normal. Uh, you take a lot less light damage. Uh, plus five time units. <coughs> oh, gosh, sorry. Excuse me. A little bit of phlegm caught. It's a ribs and crab cakes kind of day? Dang. That, uh, that sounds like a quality meal. 
A suit made of chitin plates, much lighter than usual bulletproof vests, at the comparable durability. <coughs> so here's the catch. Um, with the combat vests, we lose reactions but gain firing accuracy. But here's the other cool thing: we have uh, we have good camouflage and night vision. With the chitin armor, we don't have any of that bonus, but we do gain five time units. <clears throat> um, supposedly we have a shield? Oh no, it's just blank. Okay. Uh, let's see. With the chitin armor, we actually recover slightly more energy. Which is interesting. Melee dodge is better. Uh, I'm really concerned about losing the night vision, though. Uh, it, it would obviously be slightly better to use the chitin armor during a day fight. But I really don't feel like micromanaging armor. I don't know. Uh, side armor would be nice. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that for a little bit. <clears throat> okay, chitin armor. Takes uh, six chitin plates. Kind of don't have the money to really invest into that either. Aliens terrorize Montreal. Oh, man. We'll get Mackenzie back in. Man, all those runes, and we can't use them yet. Okay, Mackenzie's got the Beretta. Uh, everyone should be pretty well set already. All right. Starting in the top left corner. Go ahead and scoot up. Oh, and let's prime that. Hmm. True, yeah, I could see that. All right, so we're dealing with these guys. Jeez, big, big group right here. Kenzie posted up right there. Uh, 
That might just be melee magic. Oh, it went inside. Jeez. Oh. Slight misclick, but we'll deal with it. going to take a while. That's why we need explosives against this guy. Oh, that was a nice hit. 11 shield damage. Alright, well hopefully they don't have AoE on us. I don't think they do. Alright, let's try to get some explosives in first. Okay, that was some damage. There you go, woman. You're a monster, man. dude. That may have been overkill, but I do not mind. Angle. His blue shielding, though. Need to bust out the nukes. Okay, so it's gonna be the same thing. Ah, you made it this time. Prefer to 
Oh wow, you can see him. I definitely can't shoot from there. Oh my gosh, so many of them. Okay. Where did she come from? Had to have done some damage. I think that'll do. Try to choke him out. Boy, how's it going? Marmbo. <laughs> yes, hot XCOM action. Uh yeah, Lord Firestorm. Yeah, he, he took it like a champ. Oh, but you spotted her. Oh, let's see. Huh. 
Okay, I hit whoever's still in there. And we have some smoke up now. Super unlucky. Wow. Okay. See. This person still in here? No, I think she stepped out here and shot at someone down here. So probably right here. Ah! Shields down. Zero damage. Yikes. Okay, I'll take that. Magna Dracomon. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Smoke's a little thick there. Uh, we toss this. No. Ah, and welcome to the stream. Following for the XCOM content. That's what we're known for here. XCOM and XCOM-like games. Although we did get a pretty good run of RimWorld in. <laughs> uh, that was still pretty good. Uh, but yep, XCOM is a game I've loved to play for ever. And it's pretty much what I'm known for playing. Just straight up killed, okay. Wow. And you can't see him. All right. Okay. Why'd you turn? Oh. 
Oh, 18. Drat. Okay. Alright, well, at least we have this full smoke. Uh, I think she might be down now. Oh, wow, go Mackenzie. Blast him. Nice. Uh, let's maybe wait for reaction shots. I think that'll be a little more accurate and efficient. But we will choose not to take it. Um, oh man. Well, since it's the start of the turn, let's go ahead and take a real short break, guys. Uh, I'll just need to grab a drink real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> 